So Donald Trump is uh, really running a completely unprecedented campaign right now, and uh, it's one of the most exciting things. It's definitely the most exciting thing in politics to me since the Ron Paul candidacy of uh, 2007 for the 2008 election. Um, I wanted, I kind of assumed Rand would be the non-establishment frontrunner this this cycle and then they'd steal it and uh, put you know give us Jeb Bush and Hillary Clinton as the candidates like everybody figured pretty much so seeing Donald Trump destroy Jeb Bush's campaign hundred plus million dollars down the drain um, has uh, been wonderful really enjoyable uh, awe-inspiring it makes me almost giddy I think is a word for it um and it's just exciting and I don't know who's gonna be the candidate I th apparently right now Bernie Sanders has a better chance to beat Trump than Hillary um, which I think is probably true for sure in a fair election but I still kind of want Bernie to beat Hillary just because fuck Hillary. Uh, I don't want if, if we can have a an election where both candidates are not the establishment choice. I think that's the best thing for America. Um, I ordered my uh, Make America Great Again hat today, a knockoff version. I didn't want to pay the, but again, he's self funded. He doesn't need my donation. Um, another reason to like him, uh, other than destroying political correctness in the media. Destroying Jeb Bush, uh, bringing up 9/11 truth issues, like uh, flying the set, flying the Bin Ladens out of the country right after 9/11, and just all of it. It's just great. It uh, if uh, if he's the no he's going to be the nominee, obviously at this point. What could what can stop him? What can possibly stump the Trump at this point? Zero, nothing, not a. Um, so the only thing, and I, I really can see him getting a more clear vision of what that's going to be. The Trump presidency, he's probably going to want to, he's probably going to uh, live tweet a lot. He'll probably be, <laughs> he'll probably be like live tweeting during like Oval Office uh, speeches every night maybe. Like what, what, are you, what, are, what are going to be some of the most, uh, when I first started getting interested in Trump it was just, the entertainment factor of, okay, so maybe this is going to be the establishment puppet, at least it'll be entertaining. But now that I've actually felt, like actually paid some attention, looked at his uh, history and stuff, I think he's pretty genuine that he really believes what he's saying, that he's an anti-establishment. Um, I don't think that he'd, if because since he's winning, I don't think he's going to want to destroy his own reputation after running such an amazing campaign. Um... That's gonna, as uh, Scott Adams points out, could very well, I think, will, and is already changing the way we see not just politics but the world, is what Scott Adams said, and that you know he's in the three D persuasion world, not this two D. Oh, he said uh, yesterday he could uh, shoot people and not lose any voters. In the two D world, that'd be like a, you know, any other candidate says that they're fucked because they they they're they're coming from a totally different frame. Um, I'd love to know what made him, what what his thought, what Trump's thought process was, for for leading a, a campaign like this. Um, I guess it's just as an article I saw today, it was said something like, "Here's the thirty year old playbook for Trump's campaign." It's just all laid out in the art of the deal, which I should probably read. But um, so maybe this is just how it always had to be. And it's not, and it's not really like this is his new strategy. Like this is just who he is, and what his, uh, and his, when he's right, um, it's working. So the problems, the things that could happen, you could have. Uh, right now, the way I see it, he's gonna win. He's gonna win the nomination, and then he's gonna keep going up in the polls, and he's just gonna have a landslide victory. The only things are election fraud. But he's get, he, if he keeps getting support like this, it'll be harder and harder, right, to uh, to uh, steal it from him because it'll be like, okay, he was polling it like you know ninety percent, the other guy's at ten percent. How did he lose? Oh, it was such a close race. Even though he looked like and then he's a ninety percent ahead in the polls, he lost by one percentage point or twenty votes or whatever. 
527 votes or something in Florida that Bush won by in uh, 2000. Um, Jeb Bush knocking black people off the rolls in Florida, right? To to steal the election for his brother. Fuck Jeb Bush, man. That's so great what what uh what Donald's doing there. Shutting Hillary Clinton down on the whole misogyny thing. Um just beautiful. Just beautiful. And uh so I'm def I'm registering Republican one of these days coming up. So I can vote for him in the primary. Signed up on his website. To be a, if they need anybody doing stuff over here, I don't, I do kind of doubt they will, but yeah, signed up to support the campaign, the volunteer, and uh, I suggest anybody does the same. Because we, so I get a lot of TIs being my channel. Which, uh, who do you think? Donald Trump's the only one who's possibly. Hillary Clinton is, is a perp, basically. She's like a perp overlord. Bernie Sanders. Whatever he'll probably hope I hope I hope he does get the nomination, but I think Trump is our best bet for Ti's to uh, reveal the truth. I think he he could uh, in the same way like a, you know remember when Clinton has there's that clip on YouTube of Clinton apologizing for MK Ultra. How about Donald Trump not apologizing since he didn't do it and he doesn't apologize. Um, but uh, how about Trump uh, say, revealing this stuff? And that's why you know they can't let him win. Um, I was talking to my friend uh, Dante about this, and he's like, "They're well, they're gonna kill him. They they have to. They're just gonna kill him." And I was like, "Nah, man." I was like, "So maybe they'll just be like, fuck it, let him win." <laughs> That's just funny. But at the same time, I feel like he might still win, even though we know this is the Illuminati you're up against. They like they they kill JFK. They kill sitting presidents. They'll kill they'll kill candidates. They they'll kill they'll kill four hundred thousand two million Iraqis. They'll bills. They'll blow up two buildings on live television. Three, really. But, uh... But somehow, I feel I feel good about this. It's like the heavens are parting and, the, and they're just bestowing gifts on Donald Trump's campaign. He, he don't, he's not taking big donations. And, uh... And yet, it's like the world just decided, okay, well, we're, gonna, we're not accepting that. Uh, as the spirit of the universe, we're gonna give you big donations. Like, like the rape thing in, uh... Germany, like every, like he, he brings up, he brings up illegal immigration and the refugees and all this stuff. And all of a sudden there's, there's illegal immigrants in big news stories of them doing exactly what he says they're doing. And even worse with the whole rate, like in, in Cologne. So, um, well not worse, but you know, not worse than murder, but uh, crazier, bigger scale than it was like, it's like, what could possibly, uh, what, what's, what's going to happen next? I mean, the other day, El Chapo, after he got... Chapo. After he got uh, arrested again, he said his lawyers are saying, you know, that we don't we don't want to get extradited because we're worried about Donald Trump. So cartels afraid of uh, Trump. More more good public, more like unbelievable, and and uh, and then overtaking Cruz in Iowa. Like everything's going perfectly in his favor. Almost it seems like. Uh, so is it the will of uh, the universe? The the justice. Uh, is it justice prevailing in the universe? Um, kind of looks like it. Uh, so yeah, they can assassinate, steal the election, unlikely, I think. Um, or suspend the election <laughs> with some huge crisis. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do to stop to try and stump them. But good, uh, I don't know. I think I think he might. I don't know. Maybe the cat might be out of the bag permanently. Might be having good things happen for once. Um, and then uh, for any TIs still watching this video, uh, I was just thinking yesterday and talking to my friend about um, being in the moment versus worrying about the past or the future, and. Uh, To just really be in the moment and being like in touch with your own body, because I mean, you start focusing on voice to skull, all these abstract, awful thoughts, basically negative self hypnosis or hypnosis, uh, hetero hypnosis, uh, but also self hypnosis because you start thinking about what they're saying to you and you know everything. So, um, so yeah, so 
I'd say for TIs to try and just get in touch with like the feeling of your body. If you can focus your attention there, like your hands or your, or your feeling of your back against something. <sighs> because I, I was like, I was, I was talking about it with my friend and like, yeah, I feel like I'm not in the moment enough. Always constantly thinking about the future or the past or, you know, some critical self-talk internal dialogue going on. And when you, when I was, and when I dropped that for a second, it's like, I, all of a sudden I felt like, like chills, like, 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 oh yeah, I'm in like a body here, like this is my body, <laughs> and, like, and it has like feelings like I can, because with the gang style can make you feel so disconnected from uh, normal feelings, normal thoughts, so I'd say, you know, meditate, so you can elevate, so you can alleviate these perpetrators, so, yeah, leave your thoughts about Trump and uh, stuff in the, in the uh, comments. Hello?